You sponsored and passed legislation last year that directed the Washington State Patrol to conduct a study on how to best identify and report missing Native women. Tell us what's been done since that bill passed. Absolutely. Thank you for asking. What the Washington State Patrol has done, along with the governor's office, is done a tour across the state of Washington. We've had seven stops throughout the entire state and then also made sure to include the urban population, a stop in Seattle, to listen to the urban tri tribal members who constitute over 70 percent who left the reservations. Just trying to figure out, for example, in the, in the stop that we had in, in Yakima, Washington, there were over 300 people at the meeting and it was four hours of heartbreaking testimony regarding their missing family member. So we've got a lot of work yet to do. Your work on this issue is now helping to shine a bright spotlight on the issue of missing Native American women. This is a big issue in Washington state, but how much of it is an issue nationally? Uh, it's across the United States and even in other countries. What we've done is we've set the stage and Washington hopes to be the first state to have an actual number. What we know is that there's a database that counts people that are missing across the U.S. and it includes every population except Native American. So we're going to fix that and we want to be the first state to have a number of exactly how many are missing so we can start solving the problem. What more do you hope to do in this legislative session to build upon last year's bill? Well on Friday at noon, we'll be dropping uh, the Native American Missing and Murdered Women Bill 2.0. What that does is it ties actions to make sure that the tribes know we're going to do everything we can and we're not going to let this go. It will set up two governmental liaisons that are intertribal and they'll work in the Washington State Patrol Office and they'll be that hand that extends out into the tribes to help guide them through the process continually whenever someone's missing. It'll also serve as a, just a place for them to go, to a place for advocates to help the families in need to make sure they know that we're working together to find every person. It also sets up a protocol. What we learned on these tours was that throughout these seven stops and in Seattle, that law enforcement aren't always doing the same thing when someone's missing. So my wish list has a laminated sheet given by the state patrol that exhausts at least 10 different things that we need to do every time anyone's missing in the state of Washington.